Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, this week, the South Australian Police have continued their investigations into the 1973 disappearance of Joanne Ratcliffe, 11 years, and Kirsty Gordon, 4 years, from Adelaide Oval on the 25th of August, 1973. This week, we have attended several sites at our properties at Yatna, which is in the mid north of the state. We have spent three days excavating a well and examining a second well. This is in furtherance of a number of visits to that location over the past 12 months and three previous occasions where one of the wells has been excavated. Um, we will continue to do anything we can to try and find the girls, find who was responsible for their abductions. To date, our searches at Yatna have not revealed any evidence in relation to the girls' abduction, um, but we will continue to do whatever we need to do to try and find the girls, for the, particularly for their families. What led you to Yatna? Look, it's been a um, combination of information received over the years and a crime stoppers that came in. Not the crime stoppers was not in relation to the actual abduction, but reading the crime stoppers, we could draw a link, which we assessed and then attended at the property at Yatna. When did you receive that crime stoppers? Uh, it was, I'm not exactly sure, Probably late 2012. Um, it's, Why did it take so long? Then to it, it, look, it's we've we've been attending there over, for over 12 months now. Um, it's a very difficult um, operation that we are undertaking. Um, we commenced this a long time ago, and as I said, you know we have been working on it for a long time. And it, the time frame is, is, is absolutely appropriate. The time you attend, assess. We've had to seek advice from geologists from cave exploration people, we have had, had, had experts attend, the, attend at the site over a long period of time because we need to obviously make sure if we're sending um, state emergency service or police officers down, deep down into a well, that is absolutely safe for everybody and that's one of the reasons it has taken so long. And Information came from Mark Trevor Marshall, I think, at one stage from Yatla Prison and um, that was dismissed by police at the time. Are we suggesting now that perhaps um, you think there is something to what he said previously? Look, I've read all his comments. Look, I don't really particularly want to make any comment on that, but the information we're reacting to is s separate to that. But the, so it's not the claims that you labelled fantasy? Sorry? You, it's not the claims that a few years ago detectives labelled as being fantasy? No, look, there's other information that we have combined with the Crime Stoppers we believed was necessary to go back to the and site. suggest that it's no longer fantasy? No, I, I, I can't, yeah, well, I won't make any comment on you that. You must be taking it seriously if you have all the man hours up there. Oh, look, it's a considerable time, effort and money has been spent for, over the last 12 months attending at the site. And look, I can't rule out that we, we won't re-attend at that site because obviously the person in question is one of many people who have been, you know, a person of interest or his name has come up many times over the years. Um, and we obviously need to follow every line of inquiry and try and put it to bed. Can we rule out that he's in, involved? No, we can't. Can we rule out that he wasn't involved? No, we can't. But we will do what we need to do to try and identify who was responsible for the girls' abductions. What can you tell us about that property that you're searching, the, not just the yard and the wells, but also the house itself and what you suspect may have happened at that house? Who was at that house? Um, I would only, look, I'd only be speculating that it's um, two properties at Yatna, which is approximately 30 kilometres north of Jamestown. There are two farming properties. They were obviously built in the 1800s. The wells are, I'm guessing, excavated in the 1800s for water. Um, one of the persons of interest happened to live at one of the properties many years ago. And uh, this property is mentioned at length by Mark Trevor Marshall, mm -hmm. being perhaps the property where, um, or ultimately, the, the two victims were murdered. Mm. Do you think that's what happened? I'd, I'd purely, purely speculating. I'd be, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be honestly speculating. Look, I honestly don't know. Look, we, you, you can't rule out, as I said, you can't rule out um, with that other people, another person was involved. You wouldn't want to put all your baskets, sorry, all your eggs into one basket and say conclusively this person was responsible. He, he, 
you know, he may, he may, may not be. So we, we need to keep an open mind. But having said that, you know, we also have got an obligation to try and follow through any, any line of inquiry. And obviously every time we receive information, we need to assess it, prioritise it, you know, consider it, then react to it. The barrels where uh, there were reports the bodies had been put in, or at least one body had been put in, uh, they were tested by police at the time. What Can you tell us what the outcome of those blood tests were? Uh, there was, we found no evidence of any suggestion of any human remains that we would examine in those barrels, yeah. Okay. And I'm not, and I haven't, I haven't been able to establish the link to, from those to the Radcliffe Gordon case. They were found in the vicinity of that property, though? And no, they're, all, they're not near that property, no, they're away from that property. They're not now, but they were at the Pic time. Up Pecina Creek, my understanding is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm, I'll look, I'm, um, to be on the safe side, we are revisiting some of that just to be doubly sure, but we, I haven't seen any link from that location back to the Radcliffe Gordons. So when, you say, sorry, when you say revisiting that, you might retest the barrels? No, 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 I mean just review, have another look at it, speak to a couple of people. Have you found any, in your searching, this latest searching, any evidence, any indication in, at all that, that you want to look at more closely, any whiff of any lead whatsoever? Unfortunately, no. I would like to say we're on to a lead. We've got something. We need to keep going. Unfortunately, today we haven't found anything. Do you worry? But that, do you worry at all that you're being led on a wild goose chase up there? Oh no! Look, absolutely not. You know, I think um, um, you've probably got one of the most horrific crimes that's occurred: abduction of an 11-year-old and a four-year-old young girl, and all the. Um, black thoughts that the family would have gone through and all the suffering, you know, we've got an obligation to do what we need to do. Um, obviously, um, over time, much information is received you know, and we need to assess each and every one and react where we can. And obviously, um, and we said earlier, there's been uh, a combination of things over the years um, that we believed we were justified in going up there and continuing the search for the girls.